I'm the doctor in Chi Fan. I'm the neurologist. Today we are talk about the basic physiology of the EEG. This is today's outline. We have three topics. The first, introduction of the EEG. The second, neurophysiology of the EEG. And the third, the EEG montage and setting. The first topic, introduction of the EEG. For a long time, uh, people try to find a convenient and reliable technique to understand the brain activity. We try to separate two groups of these techniques. One is electrophysiological and the other is hemodynamic. The group of electrophysiological is EEG and MEG. And the hemodynamic group most common include PET, SPECT, functional MRI, and NITS. The surface EEG is the most common use now, due to its cheaper and convenient. The surface EEG presents the combined electrical activity of billions of mean neurons. The EEG electrodes collect those electrical signal. Then, after data analysis, we got the EEG on our EEG monitor, such like this. And after the other detailed data analysis, we can got 3D mapping EEG voltage also. We have many EEG electrodes for choice. It depends on what signal and which brain region we want to understand. The first is surface electrodes. This is non-invasive technique to record the brain activity. And the other is needle electrodes, ECOG, and intracortical microelectrodes. The needle electrolytes such as sphenoid needle electrolytes, and the ECOG and intracortical microelectrodes, usually used for the epilepsy surgery or some study. The surface electrode is put on the surface of the skull. And the ECOG is put on the cerebral cortex surface. And the intracortical microelectrode is put into the cortex. We can get the different, different signal at the same time if we use the different electrodes. Mm -hmm.